Golf Life takes you out to the Bighorn Golf Club in Palm Desert, California, where we met up with Dale Abraham. He's the director of instruction right there at the Bighorn Golf Club. Dale analyzed my swing, found my problems in my golf swing, and then gave me golf tips to fix my swing. Let's go check out what we did. We made it to Bighorn Golf Club, Palm Desert, California. We met up with Dale Abraham. He's the director of instruction here at Bighorn. Yeah, we want to ask you, you know, all golf instructors are different. Nobody has the same thing, you know, everybody has their little idiosyncrasies here and there. We want to hear from you on what your kind of philosophies are on the golf swing and in golf in general. Well, just like you said, every golf instructor is a little different. Every person that plays golf is a little different. So what I try to do is I try to take what each person does um, that everyone has one strength and even in their full swing they'll have something they do well and then the other things that they don't do quite as well so I try to accentuate what they do well build on that and then fit the swing to fit them physically so we all have our own attributes as far as how we can move and what our body wants to do and doesn't want to do so we want to actually make it as repeatable as efficient and as basically least injury prone as we can mm -hmm. and so make it so you can enjoy it and be a little more consistent and have some fun. I'm a baseball player learning to play golf today. I think we got some tips that you can show me. I think so. Let's go get to it. So it's interesting. So we're using the track man here and it's tracking the club and ball data, right? So the, the club, the moment of truth is impact because that determines basically where the ball is gonna go, right? So we're looking at a couple different things here. You hit that last shot 231 yards in the air. Uh, with a four iron, you had a negative 3.6 angle of attack, which is really good. It's um, you know pretty shallow or a good, for, especially with your club head speed of 107 miles per hour with a four iron. That's a ton of club head speed, way above tour average. When you look at it though, you can kind of look at your club path. So on a typical tour player, whether it be LPGA or PGA tour, uh, you typically want to see a path with a little draw or a little fade about two or three degrees to the right for okay. a little draw for a right-hander or two or three to the left for a fade, and then the face would be about half that amount in the same direction. Your club path is 9.6 degrees, so 10 degrees, let's say, mm -hmm. into out. So you have actually too much of a good thing. You get the club coming so far into out that you can't quite get the face right on, right. and that gives you that big, big, big hook and then that big, big, big push. And that's where I just think the path is one of your weaknesses where it kind of gets you off a little bit. You can see pretty good setup for the most part when you look at it from down the line. Um, your good posture, good flat back, you know, good bend at the hips, everything's pretty darn good. But when you go back, you can see the club going back goes back right back along that red line right? Till, till it gets to the height of your hand. So it's really good there. And then from there, what does it do? It goes straight up. It goes straight up. So it gets very, very vertical. And when it gets vertical like that, that's not biomechanically how you're predisposed to swing. Um, and what happens here is you get to the top, you get the club in what we call across the line. So what I mean by that is the club head is above your head rather than parallel to your target line. So as you're gonna transition, it starts down steep right there. Yep. So that shaft is again, kind of the same as it was going back. It's right. very, very steep and now you do a really good job of shallowing it as your hands move out away from you, but that club head drops way inside your hands. The one thing that I can say for Dale Abraham is that he truly takes a golfer, breaks down their swing, and then gives them a solution for their problem. Think of it like a doctor. The doctor finds the problem, then gives you the medicine to fix that problem. With Dale, he finds the problem, then gives you the appropriate drill to fix it. And that's where I just think the path is one of your weaknesses where it kind of gets you off a little bit. The golf swing happens in a split second and it can be very hard to see a problem with the naked eye. We use the TrackMan 4 to diagnose my swing. To the average human, it looks like I have an over the top swing, but in reality, my problem was how I attacked the golf ball on my downswing as I was getting my hands too far inside my body, resulting in a lot of timing issues. In my scenario, Dale showed me a drill with a pool noodle that allowed me to bring my 9.6 attack angle to a 3.5. Getting it down to a 3.5 allowed for straighter shots and more consistency. Drills like this and teachers using technology like the track man can help you get to the root of your problem, leaving you with a better understanding of your golf swing. Well, it's an easy drill that you can do at home. I mean, you could go to your local driving range, set up the what we had today, and you got your drill there. 
All right, pool and noodles, a couple alignment sticks, and you're all set and ready to go. Perfect, Dale. Thank you very much. All right, you got it. My pleasure.